They said sea monsters were just myths. Until science caught one on camera. The deep ocean isn't empty. It's hiding proof that our nightmares were right all along. For centuries, sailors told insane stories about giant squids pulling entire ships into the abyss. We all rolled our eyes. They were seeing things. Ocean madness, tall tales, or too much sun. But what if they weren't exaggerating? Because the deep ocean, that pitch black pressure crushing void, is the last unexplored place on Earth, and the things living down there make our nightmares look tame. The deep ocean is insane. The pressure will literally crush you, and it's filled with creatures that look like they're from another planet. We know more about the surface of Mars than we do about the bottom of our own ocean. For every crazy monster story a sailor told, there's a real animal that's just as bizarre, and usually way more terrifying. In this video, we're going to see what's fact and what's fiction. From ancient legends that turned out to be shockingly real to modern sightings that are just creepy, these are the top 10 sea monsters that will make you never want to swim in the ocean again. You know the story. A beautiful woman, half fish, singing haunting songs from a rock, longing for love. Yeah, not even close. In Norse and Celtic folklore, mermaids, or sirens, weren't harmless dreamers. They were predators. Sailors said their songs could hypnotize entire crews, pulling ships off course, smashing them against the rocks, and dragging men into the deep. They weren't the bright-eyed Disney version. They were pale, sharp-toothed, with long claws, and glowing eyes that shimmered beneath the waves. And here's the strange part. In the earliest stories, sirens didn't even have tails. They were half woman, half bird, symbols of death and temptation. Over time, that myth merged with the sea maiden, creating the half-fish hybrid we know today. Even Christopher Columbus claimed to have seen them, three mermaids rising from the waves. He wrote that they were not as beautiful as they are painted. Turns out, he might have been right. Most experts believe he was seeing manatees, gentle, slow-moving sea creatures with round faces and flippers that almost look like hands. After weeks at sea, through mist and exhaustion, it's easy to see how a lonely sailor could mistake one for something human. Science says mermaids aren't real, but sailor sightings, mysterious disappearances, and eerie underwater footage keep the legend alive. Maybe the ocean isn't hiding fairy tales. Maybe it's hiding something much worse. And speaking of things that shouldn't exist, the next one actually did, and it smelled like death itself. In 1896, a giant, slimy heap the size of a small house washed up in St. Augustine, Florida. No bones, no face, no features, just a mountain of meat tangled in seaweed. Locals said it was a dead sea monster. Newspapers called it the Monster of St. Augustine. People came from miles away to stare at the horror. For decades, no one knew what it was. Some claimed it was a colossal octopus. Others said it was proof of ancient beasts. Even under a microscope, it didn't match any known animal. Finally, DNA testing revealed the truth. It was decayed whale tissue, collagen fibers left behind after everything else broke down. But what's creepy is that the ocean keeps washing up more of these things. They're called globsters, and every few years, another one shows up somewhere new. Proof that even in a world of satellites and smartphones, the ocean still throws us curveballs, and sometimes corpses. And if you think that's unsettling, the next monster was so huge, sailors mistook it for an island. Straight out of Norse mythology, this is the Hafkufa, a beast so massive it looked like land itself. Sailors would drop anchor on what they thought was an island until it moved. Then it would dive, dragging the entire ship into a deadly whirlpool. Terrifying? Absolutely. But here's the twist. Some researchers think the legend may have been inspired by real whales performing something called trap feeding, where they hover at the surface with jaws wide open, waiting for fish to swim in. Imagine spotting that in the year 900. You'd swear you were staring into the mouth of a world-ending monster. Hey, if this hasn't made you rethink swimming yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Trust me, you'll want to stick around for number one. It's not a rumor or a monster from myth. It's a living serpent the size of a bus, and it's 100% real. Okay, we're done with legends, but this one isn't myth or folklore, it's real. In 1997, US scientists heard something deep in the Pacific Ocean that made their skin crawl. A thunderous organic sound so loud it was picked up over 3,000 miles away. 
They called it the bloop. For years, nobody knew what could have made it. The volume alone meant whatever it was had to be bigger than a blue whale or the ocean itself. Years later, scientists said it was ice cracking in Antarctica, but not everyone bought that because the sound didn't match, not perfectly. If the bloop was a creature, it would be the biggest life form ever discovered. Let that sink in. Our next one isn't just real, it fights back. This is a reality that sounds like a legend. For centuries, the only reason we knew giant squids existed was because of the massive sucker-shaped scars found on sperm whales. It created this insane picture of epic battles happening thousands of feet below the surface in total darkness. And now we know it's 100% true. Sperm whales dive over a mile deep into the ocean to hunt giant squid. The scars are proof that the squid puts up a crazy fight with its tentacles and sharp beak. This isn't a myth. It's a real-life clash of titans, one of nature's most brutal, unseen showdowns. And you know what's crazier? The squid still lost, but it left behind a legend, one that would become the most famous monster of them all, the Kraken. The reason sailors feared calm seas more than storms. This monster was so big, its tentacles could wrap around an entire ship and drag it to the bottom of the ocean. Everyone thought it was just a story, but what's crazy is, the creature that inspired the Kraken is real. It's the giant squid. Growing up to 43 feet long, this thing is just as terrifying as the legends. Its eyes are the size of dinner plates, just so it can see in the pitch black. For centuries, the only ones we saw were already dead. But then, in 2004, scientists got the first ever pictures of a live giant squid, proving the monster was real all along. But our next monster didn't need mythology. It actually ruled the ancient seas. Meet the Megalodon, the largest shark to ever exist. A prehistoric beast over 60 feet long with jaws big enough to swallow a great white hole. This thing was nature's submarine. Thick, scarred, and built for destruction. Its teeth were the size of a human hand, serrated like steak knives, and scattered fossils have been found on every continent. That means this thing dominated every ocean. Scientists say the Megalodon went extinct thousands of years ago, but not everyone's convinced. Over the years, deep sea sonar scans, strange bite marks on whale carcasses, and massive shadows caught on submersible cameras have fueled theories that something huge might still be down there. Most of the so-called evidence has been debunked. Blurry images, misidentified whales, exaggerated stories. But every now and then, a new unexplained sonar hit appears, deeper than most submarines can go. So maybe the Megalodon really is extinct, or maybe it's just doing what it's always done best, staying out of sight and waiting. The Megalodon may be long gone, but the ocean still has creatures that feel like they slipped straight out of a sci-fi movie. Meet the Barrelai fish, the most alien-looking thing in Earth's waters. This creature has a transparent head, not figuratively, literally. Its entire skull is a clear bubble filled with gel, revealing two glowing green tubes inside, its upward-pointing, rotating eyes. And those are not its eyes on the front. Those are nostril holes. Its real eyes hover inside its head like floating night vision goggles. The Barrelai drifts motionless in pitch black water, calm, patient, a ghost suspended in a void it calls home. When prey swims above, those tubular eyes rotate upward through its own skull, locking on with surgical precision. It doesn't chase, it waits, because in the deep, the scariest monsters aren't the fastest. They're the ones that can see you through their own skull. And if a transparent-headed alien doesn't convince you the deep ocean plays by different rules, wait until you meet a predator from the dinosaur age that barely evolved at all. It's a living fossil. Meet the frilled shark, a predator that's barely changed since the days of leviathans and behemoths. It lives thousands of feet below the surface and looks like something straight out of prehistory. It moves like a snake, but it's not one. It's a real shark, perfectly adapted to the crushing pressure of the deep. Scientists call it a relic from the age of dinosaurs. When you look at it, you realize something chilling. Not every monster from ancient times went extinct. Some just sank deeper, waiting. You think the deep is scary? Wait till you see what's been drifting just beneath the surface, long, bright, and impossible to forget. 
Long before sonar, radar, or deep sea subs, sailors came home with wild stories of silver scaled serpents twisting beneath their ships so long they seemed endless. Map makers drew them, scholars mocked them, and everyone agreed sea serpents weren't real until this thing showed up. Meet the oarfish, nature's ribbon of nightmare. Over 30 feet long, thin as a banner, and shimmering like molten metal, it swims vertically through the dark, glowing silver with a streak of crimson fire running down its back. When the light hits it just right, it doesn't move. It haunts. If you saw one rising from the deep, you wouldn't call it a fish. You'd call it a warning. And maybe that's not far off. In Japan, the oarfish is seen as an omen because more than once, they've appeared right before major earthquakes. Coincidence? Maybe. But it's easy to believe the ocean knows when it's about to stir. Now imagine being the sailor watching that glowing body ripple just below the surface. No roar, no splash, just the quiet glide of something too long, too calm, and too real. No wonder they drew monsters. Maybe they weren't making things up. Maybe they were just trying to describe the indescribable. From the ancient myths of mermaids to the gleaming shadow of the oarfish, the ocean proves that truth is far stranger and darker than legend. We've seen how real creatures gave birth to myths and how, even now, the deep keeps its secrets well hidden. But behind all that mystery, the power, the beauty, and the terror of the sea lies the unmistakable hand of the Creator. The same God who shaped the stars also carved the trenches of the ocean floor and filled them with wonders we've barely begun to see. Which of these creatures creeped you out the most? Let me know in the comments below. And if you love diving into the mysterious and occasionally nightmare inducing, hit that like button and subscribe and bring a flashlight. Next time, we're not coming back up.